Hi guys, I'm Dom and welcome back to Dom Talks Tech. This is the Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro which has just been released uh, by Apple and is comes in this kind of floating design um, which is very very cool. Um, one of the main things about this case is that it's a really really expensive keyboard accessory. So in the UK it starts at £299 for the 11 inch version and then goes up to £349 for the 12.9 inch version. So it's really a question of whether this keyboard is worth it for you, whether you do enough typing on your iPad and ultimately whether it makes your iPad more like a laptop experience so you can do everything just on the iPad. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as it really does help out the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you turn on that bell icon so you get a notification as soon as I release a brand new video. Thank you guys and enjoy the video. So here we have it, the brand new Magic Keyboard from Apple, um, which people actually got more excited about than the iPad from 2020 itself. Um, one of the reasons I decided to get the Magic Keyboard was that I really did want a good typing experience on the iPad so that the times where I didn't want to carry my MacBook around, I could just take my iPad with me everywhere and get all the work done that I needed to do as, long with, as well as the notes and everything and I could just store it solely on the iPad Pro. If you're not familiar already, some of the main features we've got, we've got a full size scissor style keyboard on this device which is the same keyboard that's in the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro and the more recent 2020 MacBook Air. It has a one millimeter of key travel which is super nice for a, a comfortable typing experience. Um, when that also comes with a backlit keyboard as well, which is also super nice for typing in the dark or in low light um, So you'll be able to see the keys really really nicely Which we've not had on the sort of smart folio keyboard which Apple released with previous generations of the iPad Pro The most important thing that you probably noticed by now is this kind of floating design which Apple opted for Now there's a lot of work that's actually gone into this design because obviously all the internals and all the technologies in the iPad and it's sort of heavy leaning to one direction so the thing that surprised me the most is actually the weight of this magic keyboard it's not a light accessory at all so if you wanted a light accessory go for the smart keyboard folio because it's a much more light it's much more lighter than this however this comes with a much better typing experience for that full laptop tablet style experience so the way apple did this is just use the magnets on the ipad pro and all you have to do is literally put up your magic keyboard, rest it on the back and the magnets will snap it into place and it will stay there solidly. So that's super cool design, as soon as you close it, it locks into this place at sort of 80 degrees and then you can adjust it using the second hinge and go all the way to 130 degrees for a comfortable typing experience. And obviously with that you can get unlimited angles in between and then to suit your typing experience and your sort of environment. So wherever you are, this keyboard works perfectly for you uh, and gives you a comfortable typing experience away from glare and stuff like that at any sort of angle. Obviously not to mention that this is also a case as well, so it protects both the back and the front of the iPad and still works uh, with the Apple Pencil on top there. But another thing, thanks to the new version of iPad OS, we've got a trackpad built into this accessory now. So it allows you to use the mouse on your iPad uh, at the bottom. It's not the biggest trackpad in the world, but it functions perfectly fine for the screen size of the iPad. And I just think it's absolutely brilliant to use because you don't have to touch the screen as much as you were used to doing, especially if you want to 
super productivity workflow. You can just interact with the iPad all through shortcuts on the keyboard and gestures on the trackpad here, which is absolutely fantastic. Another really cool feature about this case, uh, the keyboard case, is that we've got a USB pass-through charge just at the bottom there. So you can uh, open your iPad just like it was a laptop and plug it into charge through this pass-through port here so that you've got the iPad USB-C for other external accessories. One of the most important questions I think is that does this make the iPad more of a laptop replacement or a sort of substitution for the MacBook? That I, I've got a lot of questions asking me that. Well, it certainly, certainly adds to the experience and it's very, very close because it becomes a full typing experience and I must say it is an absolute joy to type on. I mean, I've typed the script for this video here on this Magic Keyboard and I have to say I am enjoying it way more than even my MacBook Pro and it's, a, it's an older MacBook Pro, it's a 2016 MacBook Pro with the butterfly keys. Uh, so this um, scissor style keys back, uh, coming back with that one millimeter travel is just phenomenal. It's a fantastic typing experience and I absolutely love it. Additionally, as a student, it is fantastic because you're getting a really, really portable device that can not only come with a fantastic typing experience, uh, you can obviously um, take your iPad off this keyboard just using, just if you lift the magnets, take the magnets off, you can just lift it away and use it as a note-taking device with the Apple Pencil there. And as soon as you want to type, clip it back in and you've got a full-on typing experience going on here. Again, for someone who travels between uni and home, this is fantastic because I can just leave my MacBook around and I don't have to use my MacBook all the time. I can use my MacBook for the, for the heavier tasks and I can get the majority of my work done easily on the iPad Pro now. Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking, Dom, there must be some cons to this product. What are the cons? Well, there are a few for me, there are a few. And one of them is that you can't open this iPad Pro Magic Keyboard with one hand. It, it just doesn't work. You need to get two to really get into it and prise it open and it sort of snaps into place at this degree here. And then you can use a secondary hinge to then rotate it and so it comes to this floating design. That's a very, very small problem, but that is one tiny problem about the Magic Keyboard. It, it's not easy to open with one hand. It's not as easy as, say, the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro, where you can just lift it up with one hand and it's weighted in such a way that it's easy to open. You have to use two hands with this. So that is one problem. The other problem is that this is the only position it goes into. This locks in place at this position, and you can't, say, fold the iPad Pro a Magic Keyboard over to then use it just in a tablet mode. If you wanted to use it in tablet mode, you have to kind of grab it off using those magnets and you have it without a case. So that is one of the downsides to it. Um, but if you're like me and you kind of like having one, a laptop style device and tablet device, depending on what you're actually doing that day, then you can choose to either use the Magic, the magic Keyboard at one day or you can just take it off, put it into say another another case and go with it for with a tablet style device. So you might not use this Magic Keyboard all the time, but it's by far the best typing experience you can get on it. Or you could be a sort of a type of person who absolutely loves typing on this iPad Pro and just has it in this case all the time. Um, and for you, the Magic Keyboard is, is perfect, it's absolutely brilliant. It's by far so much better than the Smart uh, Folio Keyboard. Um, so there are two different types of use cases for the Magic Keyboard, I think. And depending on which person you are, I think it works very well in the different scenarios. Finally, as I've mentioned, it is a very, very expensive accessory for the iPad, but is it really worth it? I think absolutely. This is by far the best typing experience I've had on a mobile tablet device. It is absolutely fantastic. It feels brilliant to type on. I can get all my emails written on this. I can get documents written. I can get drafts for videos written. I can get essays written on this device, which means that I have a lot more portability with me. So when we're out of lockdown, we can I can obviously travel around literally just with my iPad and nothing else. 
and I can get everything I need to do done on the iPad Pro, which is for me, is a game changer. Because the Magic Keyboard is a very expensive accessory for the iPad, I'm gonna do a full in-depth review of it in a week's time because I think it deserves that time and the sort of, for me to test it out for a week um, to see my impressions and whether they change and whether I may, my opinion changes. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about this Magic Keyboard, do comment them down below and I'll make sure that I address them, one, with a response to you and then two, and I'll address a load of them in the next uh, follow-up video in a week's time. If you guys have enjoyed this video, as always, feel free to give it a like as it really, really does help the channel. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tech reviews, hands-on and first impression videos. My name's been Dom. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside, and I'll see you in the next video.